Hey guys, so this won't be like my usual videos, but if you clicked on it, you already know what it's all about. So let me introduce the facts real quick, let's get everyone up to speed, and uh, let's begin. First of all, what is a conjunction? It's when two planets link up in the same sign, and uh, the rate of occurrence depends on the speed of each planet. It takes Jupiter about 12 years to orbit the Sun, while Saturn does it in a little less than 30 years. Meaning, Jupiter makes around two and a half revolutions in the same time it takes Saturn to make one. Single conjunctions of Jupiter and Saturn occur approximately once every 20 years. Whilst triple conjunctions, meaning three conjunctions due to the retrograde movement of the planets in a seven month period, are not periodic. The interval between these uh, varies between 40 and 377 years. This year, Saturn entered Aquarius on March 21st a day after the spring equinox, and it will re-enter it on the 21st of December, the day of the conjunction. Both the 1226 and 2020 conjunctions are leading conjunctions, each beginning their own trigonalis, air sign cycle. The most recent of such triple conjunction happened between 1980 and 1981, whilst the previous one happened between 1940 and 1941. The next one is said to occur 239 years from now, in 2239. Now is when things get a little spooky. In astrology, a triple conjunction of these two planets is regarded as an indicator of major cultural change. In January 1981, Reagan got inaugurated, introducing a military buildup against the Soviets. AIDS started between 1980 and 1981. The first orbital flight by NASA Space Shuttle happened in 81, as did the introduction of IBM's first computer, 5150. But let's go a little further back. One theory holds that it was the conjunction of Jupiter and Saturn in 7 BC that was the star of Bethlehem from which the three wise men predicted the coming of the Messiah. At that time, both planets were only one degree apart, which is about twice the moon's diameter. Whilst this time around, it will appear to be 20 times closer. Even using astrology and astronomy softwares, we cannot find an occultation back in time that comes this close. A pure occultation will only occur in the year 7541, the closest in thousands of years. Well, what does it all mean? We have to dig deeper in what each planet signifies first before we can attempt an educated guess. In astrology, Saturn is the planet of responsibility and commitment to personal needs. It is a planet of growth, as well as limits, karma, and punishment. It is the natural ruler of the 10th house, which deals with the public eye, political leaders, and the career. The king of planets, Jupiter, on the other hand, is tolerant and expansive. The first of the social planets, it seeks insight through knowledge. Its keywords include morality, gratitude, hope, honor, and the law. It's a plan of broader purpose, reach, and possibility, and has generally been associated with good luck and bounty. A conjunction between these two planets is usually seen as planetary war. And on top of it, we are about to exit the age of Pisces, ruled by Jupiter, and entering the age of Aquarius, the 20th, ruled by Saturn. Whether you believe what I just said holds any weight or not, doesn't matter, because more influential and more powerful people than us do. If you've been paying any attention in the past decade or so, you already know what I'm talking about. The eagle or the snake? Which will rule over the coming age? Well, we're about to find out. Peace out, boyos.